Let's uh, talk a little bit about your technology. Um, you've come into the market with a mesh solution, yep. um, and it seems you have a lot of emulators now. Mm -hmm. um, explain to me how, how it works as far as coverage and, and being a better solution than w the linear linkage kind of approach. Well, the first thing is that when Wi-Fi is used at home, it's supposed to cover absolutely 100% of the needs, going from playing games with low latency to streaming video to IPTV use case, which is very high bandwidth, you cannot afford to lose a packet, etc. So there's a lot of complexity, and in particular complexity that is induced by the operator uh, offer itself, in particular video. So what we do is that um, we don't only have product. As you mentioned previously, we also have software that is embedded, but on top of that we have a cloud value proposition for the operator to actually overlook the quality of service not only for individual homes but also for groups of homes uh, for MDUs and have a global view on how to improve the quality of service. So can they look into the individual home if somebody does have a problem and see what the issue is? Yeah, they, they, can, they can do that. Of course, all the privacy issues being uh, handled properly, but they can, they can see things that are usually very difficult to see with our systems, like bad placements of products, uh, like um, uh, very old devices that tends to drag the system down, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. So there's a number of use cases that are very difficult to track and where uh, uh, care, uh, people at the operator can see all the installers when they come but also in a simplified way we get some of this troubleshooting available for the consumers themselves oh good well it's speaking of what the consumer can do um, is is it possible for the operator to send them if they need another uh, extension and they need um, is, is it possible for the operator to send that instead of sending an installer of course of course most of the case actually it's self-installed we make sure that um, the overall installation is almost a zero or touch type of installation. Consumers are really guided to put the system at the right place by themselves. If they are missing one extender, uh, we have systems to basically proactively uh, uh, give the opportunity to the operator to send them an, an SMS or something to basically tell them you probably need another extender because right now your home is too big and it's struggling to... Uh, so we can do pre, uh, predictive and preemptive type of analysis. Now, nowadays, uh, with with the way people are using devices, you got to cover the outside of your home as well. That's correct, yeah. And and now even people may want to take their TV out to the patio or something. Yeah. Um, it, it do it's does that entail typically more coverage and in, in, in another extender kind of situation? Oh, no, it, it can. But of course, our job is to minimize the number of extender, um, even if the house is big. Because you know, if we really want this approach to be mainstream, and that's our goal. Our goal is not to target 10% of the, of the consumers, but 100%. Then the overall cost, the number of, of devices needs to be uh, low enough. But yes, we see more and more cases where people are using Wi-Fi outside of the home, uh, on, on the backyard and etc. So we are working in systems to, to basically maximize uh, the, um, the bandwidth, even in very difficult cases. Does your, does your system work in a situation where the operator might want to have a backup with a backhaul kind of uh, support from a mocha to where your extenders can just tie into that and use that? Well, actually, uh, we've v worked very early on in using different types of backhauls to ensure the full coverage of the home. We started with Ethernet, of course. Ethernet is a natural one. Now, Ethernet is not everywhere in the home, but if you have Ethernet installed somewhere, then it will definitely use it. Then we have also, with Sky, uh, implemented a PLC backhaul at the time. Uh -huh. And we are currently working on the, on the Mocha backhaul as so well. So they're using PLC. Is that, how's that working? Is it, uh, I mean, basically, when, when you have PLC available in the home, it helps passing very, very thick walls to go from one part of the home to another one, right? Uh, so th then if our system dynamically sees that PLC is available, it will basically use the transport stream of PLC. And then it's like you have two different networks, but it's the same so network. So the system knows which one to use, and yeah. it, it makes a choice. You don't have to set it up a certain way. No, and it makes a choice in real time. 
uh, we're using the cloud, we're using the local, uh, and the, uh, I think that the value of our system is we know how to use the local smartness of the devices making decisions by themselves and when to use the cloud. And for example, if the system sees that there, uh, one access point, for example, goes missing at some point, but Mocha is here, uh, and then the, most of the demand in terms of Wi-Fi devices on the other part of the, of the house, we make decisions in real time. Wow, now if the operators can just figure out how to get things that automated on the outside plant, they'd be in yeah. business. <laughs> uh, that's great. Thank you so much, Philip, for thank, thank your you, time. Thank you, Fred. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you.